G'day, this is Mark here from Face Change Converters in Melbourne, Australia. Uh, today I want to show you a little bit about our single phase to three phase power converters called the Face Changer Series. Now, um, the Face Changer Series was originally introduced around 2006 2007. We went on, or I went on, uh, we've got a business partner in, uh, on New Inventors, um, and, which was on ABC TV, and we introduced this new technology to the Australian market. Uh, we're still doing it all these years later. Um, we're, still, we're still at it. Uh, we've, of course, improved the product, improved the technology since then. Um, and what you see here in front of us now is the uh, latest converters that we're manufacturing. So we make single phase to three phase power converters, anything from 240 volts in, and it will give you 400 or 415 volt three phase output. So 240 volt single phase in, and three phase output. And the same with um, 480 volts. If you have 480 volts on a rural property, for example, we can still give you four 15 volt three phase out the other side. Now, um, the rotary curve, this is based around the rotary converter technique. The rotary converter technique is a little bit different to an inverter. So what we do have is we have a pilot motor internally, and we'll have a look at that internally in a minute. Um, and the good thing about a rotary converter is it means we can have multiple loads running on the one product. So if I had, say for example, this one, which is an eight kilowatt converter, I can have many motor loads up to the full eight kilowatts. So it doesn't matter whether I'm running at half a kilowatt or I'm running at five kilowatts or seven or eight, 10 horsepower, it will handle it. It, it adjusts automatically to suit what the load is. There's no programming required. You basically put one of these in, hook it up to your single phase supply, and you have three phase ready to run um, equipment, three phase machinery, workshop equipment, whatever it is. So let's have a look at this one here. This is our smallest converter, the Phase Changer 2. It has this, it's got the same technology as the larger ones, um, same basis, it's just everything's a little bit smaller. So we, we use the same technology, we just upscale on the sizes. So this unit is designed as a simple plug and play unit. It's in simple, it comes with a standard plug, 240 volt, 10 amp plug, and on the output side, we've got a three phase, five pin outlet, ready to go. On here, we have an input circuit breaker, and we have an output circuit breaker, uh, which is also a safety switch. So we have earth leakage or a safety switch built into this as well. What I'm going to do is going to start this unit up and we'll have a look at there's plenty of the power point. We've got a display here and we'll turn it on. Wait for a few seconds. I think you'll see that momentary flash up to wait. A couple of clicks. This is the unit, it's now running. That's it, that's the noise that comes out of it. So we've got a pilot motor internally, it doesn't have a shaft on it, it just sits there and works effectively as a rotary transformer. Okay, I'm just going to have a look at what the input and the output are on this unit. I'll just grab a multi Okay, this one here. Right, I'll put it on uh, range. And we'll just hook into the supply. And we'll have a little look and see what the output's doing. So. I'll give it between two of the phases. And there we go. So we're up around close to that 415 volt mark, very close to that 415 volt. This model, the PC2, PC3, even between the neutral, we have a neutral output, and each of the phases. We'll see it set up there. It'll be in the 230 to 240 volt range between each phase to neutral. Okay, now I've got a little test load here. This is just a small fan, um, just to simulate a machine. It could be any machine, it doesn't have to be a fan, it could be anything. It could be, a, could be a guillotine, it could be a small lathe, or whatever. Basically, I just plug that in. Notice that when I just turn it off, at idle, this display indicates 
the basically the power level, how much power the units, uh, how hard it's working. At idle, it will be idling on zero. When I go and bring on a machine or bring on a motor load, it will do what we call a hard start. And what it's doing is it's releasing stored energy, storing capacitors into the load to help it get away really quickly, just like it would on, on mains three phase. If you see that flash up to wake, that's doing a hard start. Let's just see what I turn it on. Okay, so momentarily it went up to wake. As soon as it saw the voltage rise, it turns off. So this is what we call the hard start feature. Now if I added extra loads on, not just this one, this display could vary anywhere between one and seven. And that's basically gonna give us an idea how hard the converter's working. So a very capable little machine, this one. Face changer too. All right, let me look at the other ones over here. This one here is the Phase Changer 3. It's the next model up. Exactly the same configuration. Outlet, the uh, same switch gear. What we've got on it is a 15 amp plug, so it's designed to plug into a 15 amp power point and has the three phase outlet on the side. That's the way it comes standard, okay? The Phase Changer 3. There's another model here which we don't have on the floor. It's a Phase Changer 4, which is a four kilowatt. Five and a half horsepower. This one is a phase changer six. So now we're stepping up a little bit more. This one we don't make it in standard as a plug-in unit um, because the input currents, as we go up in size, we need to draw that energy from the single phase mains. This one is rated on a 240 volt supply. It's rated at 30 amps that we'll need to draw from the mains, okay, to um, for that function. All right, so. And that's under full load conditions, by the way. So if you're running a lot less than that, of course it will draw less than that. Output current is about 12 amps per phase on that one at 415 volt. Next one up, oh, this one, by the way, that's integral. Motor's still inside. That's it, okay. From there on, the phase changer eight upwards, we actually have the motor, the electric motor, sitting external. As you notice, all our motors have had the shaft cleanly removed on it, so they're under no mechanical load whatsoever. So the phase changer rate, this one's again a 240 volt input. Its current is 40 amps on the input under full load conditions. And it's, it's around about, uh, what is this one? It's about 15 amps per phase on the output side. Okay, so that's the phase changer rate. Then we go 11, 15, 18, and we go all the way up to 45 kilowatts. So this is the Phase Changer series, a very, very capable range of power converters. Now I'm just going to have, before I if we stop the video, I want to have a quick look inside this to show you something different that's not in everybody else's. So this is our Rimmick. This is our baby unit. This is our electronic controller. Electronic controller is made here in Australia. Even the circuit boards, fully loaded, tested, manufactured in here in Victoria. Right, capacitor banks, internal motor, we have thermal overloads and start and run contactors on this. Okay, so start and run. So when the converter starts up, it pulls this one in. After it's fired up, it pulls the load contactor in. Now on all of our converters, we have the option of remote start inputs, which is built into the controller, right? On anything that's larger or from eight kilowatts up, it is standard. We put soft start on there, which is reduced current starting, which starts the pilot motor at a lot less current, okay? Doesn't matter on these little ones, it's no issue, but on the bigger ones, it's standard. We have fuses, we have all the protection built into this correctly sized input, output breakers, safety switch, thermal overloads. We have a lot of smarts inside the electronic controller itself. If something was wrong, it would actually tell us the fault code and what's gone wrong. So you can see the basic concept of the way it is. We, it's the same technology, we just upscale to suit each model. Okay, so there's an introduction into the phase changer, range of power converters. If you've got any questions, give us a call. Um, our website is right here, phasechanger.com. Um, and uh, you can find us, direct contact numbers through there, of course. And, uh, oh yes, we have plenty of brochures. If you need brochures available, we can send them out for you. Uh, any technical questions, give us a yell, we can help you.